Hey guys, it's Britt coming to you live. Hey Facebook, what is up? I just wanted to come on here live and talk a little bit about healing the original soul blueprint. You know, the original angelic soul self. So this is for earth angels, light workers, healers, you know. You know you're here to bring in your true multi-dimensional self. You know you're here to help and heal and you know you've been connected with spirituality, with spiritual teachings, with God, with healing work for a long, long time and you know that you're one of the earth angels in a sense, right? And so what I want to talk about today is healing your original soul blueprint, who you really actually came here to be before your vision got clouded with all this earthly stuff and you know trying to fit in um and yeah not really knowing about or honoring your true soul gifts so i want to talk about this today but say hello to me you guys when you pop on here who is on here say hello what is up you guys i want to be doing more lives some people do that like 365 day live thing that um seems like too many hey dana that seems like too many lives but i mean something like that might be good because it's good to just really get in the habit of it i feel like if i don't go live for like a week it's just it's too long and then i'm just like not in the flow of it do you guys feel the same when you like don't do enough lives and you don't get the message out there in that way it's it's really fun to like actually be live and, and talk with you guys. Hey Andrea, so say hello to me you guys. If you're watching on the replay, you can comment, hashtag replay. What is up you guys? So I don't know if you guys saw my recent post that I just did like five minutes ago, but um, I was talking a little bit about, you know, how earth angels are different. Hey Victoria and you know how we just function differently and how you know sometimes things of the world can feel hard for us if we try to just go about it from a very like human approach right we might find that you know we try everything to just like fit in or to like be like the other humans or to have success or to have our dream man or like just have our life the way that we want it and nothing seems to work for us or it's like we have to go through all these lessons and trials and tribulations and the reason why none of these human things actually work for us is because we are meant to be living at a higher level of consciousness right so there are certain beings who we actually have angelic dna we actually i've got food in my teeth we actually have angelic dna we actually are here for a big mission we actually are not in a sense from here we're just living here right now to help and to yeah help the other humans and help the other earth angels to really wake up to their truth and their self right so the thing is what we can sometimes try to do that will really take us off path is trying to be too much like the other humans like can you guys relate where it's like you want to fit in because maybe like for me i have a super open heart chakra and i just like love people and i love most people and so i that used to really get to me because i i felt so different and then it would make me question myself and it would sometimes make me even like put words in other people's mouths like thinking like oh well i really like this person but they're like that and i'm like so different and so obviously they don't like me and it would like turn into this whole complex of thinking about like that oh my differences or my gifts and abilities are making you know the whole world not like me and that's actually a really common thing I don't know if you guys can relate or if I just sound super weird right now but that's actually a really common thing with healers and light workers is that we can actually have these like implanted thoughts and energies and like they're called crucifixion implants too where we actually feel like people are out to get us or like it's not safe for us to really go bright and big in our soul mission and this is super common because many of us as healers and light workers here we've had past lives as witches being burned at the stake right like that's totally like super common or we just feel that in our genetics because it's something that's happened with an ancestor or something like that so we have this you know sensitive energy around sharing our gifts with the world and being our true angelic self because partly because of brainwashing in society 
but also because of these memories or these genetic memories um, and these implants, these crucifixion implants where we actually feel like we're being crucified if we just step up and, and try to like share our healing gifts, right? So restoring our true angelic human blueprint is going to involve clearing that shit out, clearing out any kind of implants that are making you feel like more of this energy of like, it's not safe to be myself, it's not safe to be this powerful healer and being, right? And clearing out like past life imprints of memories of like, being burned at the stake right like this is all like super common stuff and i mean obviously this is only going to relate to you guys if you really are an earth angel and you really you know have had these type of experiences right and it can really hold you back from fully stepping in to your healing mission when we've got this stuff going on right that was something that i had to clear before i was even able to show up like this for you guys right like years and years ago i became a healer back when i was 19 years old so yeah or no i mean i was always a healer i was always doing healing work right but i i really like became certified in, in certain healing modalities back when i was 19 years old and i always share the story of how i didn't actually begin practicing healing for clients or for people um until years and years later so why did i not do that and it was because of all this stuff that i had going on and, and so this is why I think it's so important for us to clear out that stuff and, and have a healer that we can work with or work on ourselves because we all have our own unique healing codes and really clear this stuff out so that we can activate our true angelic human blueprint. Okay, you guys? So is that making sense so far? I mean, obviously it's only gonna make sense for the right people who have that earth angelic soul coding like you guys, if you're watching this still probably have, right? So for me, yeah until I brought light frequencies in, until I became a healer, until I really started working with energies, things were just hard. Like the normal human things were hard. Like I remember, you know, things like, I, I, things like driving, oh my goodness, I could not pass my driver's test for the life of me until I was able to pray with God about it and, you know, like really ask God to download me with the energy that would be able to do that. So you know now I can drive right but things like the normal human tasks for me were just like so difficult for me and you know like attracting a man for me like that was like it seemed like the hardest thing it seemed like I, I had to clear so much feelings of being unlovable I had to go through so many relationships where it, it was like betrayer or betrayee and it was like this whole thing right and and that wasn't the real me but that was like stuff that I had to clear from my genetics and you know, out of my soul contract so that I could really be with my true soulmate man. And so, yes, that makes sense, sounds amazing actually. Yeah, okay, perfect. So this is all stuff that we as healers have to deal with, that like the normal people don't always have to deal with, right? And so in some sense, like it can be harder, but I actually wanna give you guys the belief that it's, it's actually easier and it's better working with the energies because here's the things we can do, right? We can do miracle healings. Like you guys, whenever I feel any type of sickness coming on, I just heal myself in like five minutes and it's so freaking easy and this is the kind of stuff we can do right like we don't have to rely on their inverted systems like you know something actually kind of funny that happened recently i don't know if i should even say this on the internet i said it in my in my um telegram channel where i say more of the woke stuff but anyway so a while ago my guy had a little bit of a cough and i was like just so certain of my own like healing power and, and health or whatever right so i was like why don't you cough in my mouth and I just, I just know I won't get it. I just, I just know whatever you have, I'm not gonna get it because my energy is just too high right now. And sure enough, I was right. And I did not get a cough and like literally, so there's certain things you could do with your physical body that are outside of the norm, right? You don't have to succumb to certain illnesses or whatever other people are doing. You don't have to live in these low vibrational frequencies. And you know, even if you do get sick, like let's say like you do get sick, you could heal yourself, right? And so this is the energy that we're playing with, right? Like it's miracle healing energy, right? But that's just one of the gifts. Like that's just like one example, but like other things that you can do is just like emotional healing, right? Like whenever I have any type of emotion come up, I just like go within and I, I process it. I learn the lesson from it and then I move on. And it's like, these are things that can just become normal or um, like, I mean, there's just so, there's so many things, right? 
there's so many miracles that can be done. Another thing I'm really good at is, you know, clearing people's addictions, right? Like I have people very close to me who I've healed from, you know, addictions and obviously in myself as well, I was able to clear that out of the field. And so even though like it might feel like your life is harder and you have to go through more challenges or it's like the normal human way of doing things doesn't work for you another example could be just like and in like the personal development world maybe you do you know all the tony robbins courses and you do all the self-help personal development stuff and nothing really works for you when it's coming from that human place or even if it's coming from like a law of attraction place it doesn't work for you because it's not mixed with that pure God truth that is what your soul needs because you are here to restore the original angelic human blueprint, right? So certain things like certain teachers may not actually work for you like certain courses. Trust me, I've done every course. Things might not work for you if it's not the true God path, right? And when I say God, I don't mean in a religious sense. I just mean like you are one of the Christed beings. You are one of the beings that has that pure God energy, that pure healing energy, that pure earth angelic soul energy. And so sometimes things won't work for you no matter how hard you try because you're not aligning with that higher source, okay? And so that's why whenever we do any type of healing work, we wanna be connecting with God first. And this isn't a religious thing. Like I said, this is a very personal connection. And the reason why maybe things haven't worked, and I don't know if you guys saw my post I did earlier, but I said, when things aren't working for you, go higher, right? Go to God and, you know, don't try to figure it out in your human mind, right? Because you'll get, you'll get in this endless, um, you know, loop, right? But if you go higher and you just, you surrender and like you're thinking of the issue in your life and you're just like, God, guide me, like show me my ultimate soul blueprint here. Like, show me my highest path, show me my highest good, right? And you have the power to do that. And then the next part is to just get out of the way and allow it to be shown to you, right? Which is actually the harder part. I mean, anybody can pray, anybody can, you know, ask for guidance, but are you open enough to actually receive that guidance? Do you know what I mean? So is this making sense so far, you guys? I actually made a couple notes here because there was just a few things I really wanted to say today in this live and sometimes I get carried away talking about all the things and I forget. Um, yeah, so realizing that things don't work for you the same way they work for other humans, right? Like my hair's kind of frizzy there. Like maybe, yeah, like for me driving, oh my God, I just like could not figure that out for the life of me until I went to God and, and prayed about it and, you know, brought in healing light energies. Same thing with manifesting a, a man. Like I had to literally pray to God and be like, God, guide me to my partner, um, guide me to my highest good. And, and that was just stuff I really had to do in order for it to work out. Same thing, business. I mean, every, everything, like things, I, <laughs> like you can try a hundred human things and if you're an earth angel, you got to go to God, right? And that's why things don't work for you. Oh, I'm getting a text. Hold on. Food here. Oh, my mom's. Okay. I've got dinner here. We ordered in tonight. My mom's been staying with us for a while. So my mom's here watching Dougie right now while I'm live for you guys. That's okay. I'm not hungry yet. I have a few more things that I have to say to you guys. So if this realization that, okay, the normal human stuff doesn't work for me, I'm too emotional, I'm too sensitive, I'm too, you know, sensitive to energies, like I can't just like fit in this normal reality, I can't just like do the nine to five, I can't just like, you know, do the thing, like it's, it's just not working for me, right? Magic, yeah. So that will ultimately lead you to these higher truths, right? To the highest truth, which is God. To activating your multi-dimensional soul gifts because here's the thing you aren't a normal human you're an earth angel you came here to activate certain gifts that are very multi-dimensional like some of my gifts is you know stuff like clearing dark energies um very much not of this world other things you know activating the dna to the true angelic blueprint like this is one of my gifts that we're talking about today so these things are very multi-dimensional they're not very human if i would have tried to figure this out with my human mind and you know try to analyze it and it just it wouldn't work it wouldn't flow it wouldn't it just wouldn't happen for me right like healing in itself like if i was trying to look at it from a human perspective like it's you just can't so you have to go higher right 
as an earth angel, you have to go higher. You have to go to God. You have to go to your soul. Otherwise, nothing will work for you. And even if it does, it won't create that lasting fulfillment that you're wanting because you're not being who you really came here to be, right? And so when you're activating these multidimensional gifts, God blesses you and you feel confident in yourself because now you're finally doing what you really came here to do, right? Like I didn't have my confidence until I started my healing business. Like I, I felt so awkward and weird trying to do the wrong thing. Like it, it was just like I had all this anxiety, all the sadness, all this emotional stuff. And it was just because I wasn't aligning to that highest timeline, that highest path for me, right? So what I really want you guys to know is that by being your true angelic self, even though it might feel scary, even though it might feel like, well, what is that? Or is that just my ego? Like, I don't, I don't have these multidimensional gifts. That's just like some crazy, like, so you're going to have these thoughts come up. And recognizing that you have to go with your heart and what feels true, right? God truth, soul truth will feel true in your blood, in your bones, in your emotional field. It will feel true. You will know. You just know things. And that goes beyond this right here. It's coming from above. It's coming from your cells. It's a cellular knowing. Okay, and when you live from that, and when you have that activated and turned on, you become so magnetic because you're being your true angelic self, and your true angelic self will ripple out and activate in the other earth angels their knowing to be their angelic self as well. Like when you're in your mission, embodied in your gifts, you're going to ripple out and other earth angels soul family they're going to activate within themselves too and they're going to just something's just going to click and they might not even know that it's happening but it's something will click and it's creating this ripple effect on the planet where more and more people are living from their soul and their gifts which is creating the new earth effect where people just know this right we don't have to spend our whole life trying to figure out what what's my soul purpose what are my soul gifts right when we have parents who are raising children you know looking at their true soul and saying okay this is your gift this is what you're here to do like not actually not that a parent would ever know what their child's soul gift is but like at least being open to allowing them to figure it out for themselves without getting brainwashed into society first so this is what we're talking about here this is what happens when you become your true angelic self and you know eventually i mean i like to have hope that this ripple effect would literally ripple out and, and affect everybody on the planet i fu fluctuate I sound like i said fuck i meant fluctuate in and out of that you know belief of, of this rippling out and affecting everybody but that's the power of a truly tapped in earth angelic human being right and i mean even if it feels scary or you feel like you're being in your ego i mean deep down as an earth angel don't you know that you're here to help a lot of people like don't you know that your energy can just go out and help people just like with this ripple effect like i know that my energy is beaming love on everybody who encounters my space and you know that energy can also piss off the wrong people because it's so triggering to see a human who's that filled with light and source and God, right? And it's not an ego thing because here's the thing, when you're really tapped into this, you're actually not putting anybody else down either. Like if, okay, if you find someone who's like, oh, I'm this healer and I'm like so tapped into God and everybody else is like shit and they all suck. That's not someone who's truly tapped into God. When you're truly tapped into God, you see God in all things. You see like you see everybody else's gifts, right? And so anyways, I wish I knew what my purpose is or gift. I don't know. Yeah. And it's something that you're not going to know. Like I said, you're not going to know from this, right? It's not going to come from here. It's going to come from here and your soul and that cellular activation, that cellular knowing, right? It's something that you just know. And it's not something you can even think about, right? Like I said, my gifts, like, and they're not like 
human things. Like you wouldn't just think like, oh, clearing dark energies, activating souls. Like, you know, it's not something that's gonna be always understood, but it's something you're gonna feel in your heart and know. Um, I think I wanna be a therapist. Yeah, and see, so like even beyond the title, like I feel like if someone has the desire to be a therapist, I used to wanna be a therapist too, actually when I was really young. I think that that shows that there's that innate healing ability that shows that there's that ability to transmute darkness in someone and turn it to light, probably because, you know, you've gone through that same type of experience in yourself, right? And um, yeah, so I hope that's making sense. Andrea says 19. What did you mean by 19? Or was that just like a, a typo? Um, anyways, you guys, so what else did I want to say here? Let me just let me just see okay yeah that was that was all my notes transmute darkness yes exactly right and so the other thing that i just want to mention too with like activating these these gifts and activating your true human blueprint is like really imagining the highest version of yourself too like in order to actually activate the angelic dna and actually be who you really came here to be it's like you have to step out of the limitation. You have to step out of the, like I said a lot in this live, the human mind, right? Because as earth angels, we actually have to like activate our angelic self in order to be able to like function properly in life. Like that's like actually what I had to do, you guys. Like I had to actually, and it's not like it's going to not help your human life either. Like we get to have balance, but like you got to come from the earth angelic self you got to bring in the source you got to bring in the light you got to bring in the soul and then everything else is going to work and be blessed do you believe in the afterlife absolutely oh yeah a hundred percent well like our souls are eternal right like your soul could have been around for like a hundred thousand years and it just like chooses to incarnate at different times maybe even on different planets i mean we are so we're so eternal that's something that i just know like with every fiber of my being um, because I've done a lot of work in past life healing, I've gone to like so many past lives in myself and with, with clients too, I've seen past lives. And so it's just, yeah, definitely I do believe in the afterlife for sure. Um, but it's not something like, I also don't feel like lately I'm like needing to look for every past life or anything because it's like the most important life is right now in the present. And I think also sometimes we can get stuck like searching endlessly for all um, these past lives that need healing, right? I mean, if it comes up, heal it, but we don't necessarily have to like go and look for it. You know what I mean? Um, do we, do you believe once we pass, we maintain our consciousness or are we just energy? Yeah, I think we maintain like a certain level of consciousness, but I also think that like we, we leave behind maybe some things like, I don't know, that's, that's a hard question. Cause it's like, we obviously have the same soul, but like my incarnation as Brittany, like is different than other incarnations that I've had, right? Like I like I could have been a guy in a past, like, like it's so things change, right? But like we do remain the same soul. And also I've heard of something that this might get confusing, but I've heard of something too, that we can like actually be living parallel lives. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's something that I've heard recently and I'm like, holy shit. So anyways, there's just, there's so much we don't know. So with this kind of stuff, like I would really ask yourself, like, what do you like feel in your soul to be true, right? Cause there's many different belief systems around this. I know what I've personally believe right and it just feels like an absolute truth for me but like really tune in and, and seeing how you feel about it type them wow yes my bf talks about that the parallel lives yes this is, this is something i've heard about recently and i'm like that's a whole nother level of things but like we don't know there's so much we don't know right so anyways you guys i think i probably should go eat food um but i have two programs open for enrollment right now and I actually I talked about them in my other post so I'll just like do a quick little summary here but the most recent program that's been downloaded into me is this angelic DNA program where we're going to be going a lot more into this kind of stuff and you know I, I outlined what we're going to be doing in each week but it's really deep healing first we're going to kind of talk about the origin of soul we're going to talk about the DNA and what it 
actually is to be activated and this is all very spiritual work like we're not talking like in the actual like well i mean it will affect your physical body but we're talking about the energetic level activating the angelic dna and then we're going to also talk about clearing ancestral karmic miasma which is kind of seen as like this black goo energy in your field that will keep you stuck looping in certain timelines that are just not the ultimate highest timeline right like we're stuck in this human shit so that we're going to be talking about and then we're also going to be activating the gifts and so much more i actually have a summary of all the weeks i think i should probably post that because it's like very epic what we're going to be doing in this program so message me if you're curious about the program early bird pricing on now and then also i have a new vip membership which is basically where you get all of my programs so you're going to get all of my programs in the past that i've ever done and all the programs that i do while you're in the membership right and so that's just like a great way to be in all the things if you really resonate with my work and you just want to go all in and you want to like do all the things and really deeply heal on a deep level that is what the membership is for so you can message me about that as well um and then you will get the um angela uh, angelic dna program as well if you sign up for the membership hey ashley what's up girl so yeah, that's my current offerings. And then I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions as well, where I do what's called field work, where I tune into your field and I you know, can clear out dark stuff and I can bring in more of your true soul gifts. And it's just, it's magical. There's all kinds of stuff that can come up. It's really super cool. And I am a coach as well. And I offer that in my coaching. So message me about all the things you guys. I have like quite a few things. I like to, my personality type, I like to have lots of different things um available because i i love shopping and so i like to feel like i'm a mall as well i've never said it like that but like that's totally what it is i get bored if i'm just talking about the same one thing all the time i like to have all these different things that you can buy because if you're like me you love buying stuff oh my god i just could do it all day um so anyways you guys message me about all the things and I love you all so much. Thank you for being here on this live. <laughs> Sending you hearts right back, Andrea. And yeah, um, I really need to connect with you about this. I need to clear my energy. Yeah, send me a message and I can tell you about all the things. Okay, love you guys. And remember, you came for the joy of living. Bye.